Hello guys. We are so excited to actually have a little bit of time to play to create with you guys tonight. Hopefully you are able to join us. We are going to give this a go again. Say hi, Amy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, so uh, we are really, really excited to be playing with, well, I'm going to be playing with a certain kit and you're going to be playing with a certain kit. So tell us about it, Amy. <clears throat> okay, so I am going to play, be playing with the Adventure Awaits kit. Um, it is was released June 2018 and then we just re-released it last, oh gosh, March. I know, we are, I don't even know. It's such... <laughs> we did a pre-sell. Oh. Eight March, April. Oh, yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. And this was one of my favorite kits. I absolutely loved it. I immediately had used it and up, and I'm like, oh, I wish I had more. So when it became available to order again, I def I got like two more. So I'm pretty excited. I absolutely love it. And for any like outdoor adventures or even just the colors are beautiful. Like it does not have to be outdoor adventures, <laughs> but um, I even bought, so this is just my neuroses, but I bought the templates again as well, because I wanted to have them without the, the eyelets. <laughs> so yeah, so that is the kit I'm using today. Are you there, Susan? Hmm, not sure what's going on there, um, but looks like she's working on it. It's so funny because we run into all these issues. <laughs> hey guys, so if you're joining us, um, I, I just introduced, I'm going to be using the June 2018 kit, but I'd love to know who's, who's joining us and what you're working on tonight. Um, definitely if you have these kits, you can pull them out with us. I am just tearing off. I printed my pictures right before. So I'm just like with my selfie. So I'm just print or tearing off everything. That's what that noise is. All right. Are you there, Susan? Okay, I'm back. Oh, I'm good. sorry. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> it went off and then back on. So let me put my thing back up here. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Oh technology but I really was hoping that it would put us side by side so let me see if we can take care of that oh good people are jumping on yay I'm glad so if you have this kit you probably already said that already I did I, I said to pull it out Grab but it. I yeah, told them what I was using but tell them what you're using oh I am using the aloha one so both of these were among the first ones, as she mentioned, uh, Pee Wee Club kits. So this is the one that I will be doing, which is kind of got a tropical feel, um, really fun, brighter colors, I, you know, compared to what you're doing. And um, yeah, so I'm going to also be working on this, one of these as one of my inspirations. Are you going to be doing the same? Did you already mention that? I didn't. So we kind of wanted to talk about, um, you know, sometimes the samples are on the back and then sometimes they are on the, um, you know, you can download the free PDF that it comes with. So like for this one, I'm probably going to look, I'm going to kind of use this as my inspiration. I was kind of excited because I feel like I've been using a lot of small pictures lately. But I was like, hey, this is a lot of pictures and they're really big. So I like that, but um, even if they're not printed on the actual pack, you can always download the PDF and have, you know, the three founders, co-founders, Susan, Sh Shiloh and Debbie, they all take a kit and do as much as they can with that kit every month. So there's a lot of really great ideas in those PDFs. Yeah, actually these PDFs, we weren't even doing that yet. We all took one kit and split it up, I believe at this time. And then our yeah, process- Yeah, the first three kits were a lot smaller. <laughs> yeah, and then our process changed where we said, well, why don't we all take a kit and show the diversity as far as each one of us taking literally a full kit and kind of using it completely. There are some times where I end up with like a little pile of scraps that I'm like, that's good enough. I'm going to be done now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But for the most part, some weeks, some months, I've gotten down to literally where I just have a handful of scraps left and I'm like, 
Yes, done. So, I love that's got to be very fulfilling because yeah. I I usually scrub like one layout and then I put it back in the bag and put it back in my cabinet and you're like it would be really nice to just be done with it right do a couple yeah. couple layouts <laughs> okay so and are these in the shop Amy let's get that mentioned yes so um we had this pre-sale and we've gone through and everybody has got their orders and we had a few left and we thought Let's share them with you guys. So they are in the shop right now. And um, there's not a lot. I'm going to warn you, there's not a lot. So if you missed out on these, go run to the shop and then come back and join us. But um, yeah, we've got just, I mean, a handful. There's never going to be a lot. We kind of order a little extras in case, you know, things are damaged in the in the mail or you know sometimes those mailmen they like to bend your package which even though we tell them not to so it happens sometimes so if it did happen we have a few extras to send out to you guys but luckily we we ended up with a few extras that we can we can offer to you guys so those are up in the shop right now Great. okay let's get starting to play i'm gonna see if the the view is a view coming up with both of us now let me go over um, not yet side. There might be a delay. We'll see. We're hoping, guys. We were really trying to get it there. We tested it a couple times. When we tested it yesterday, it worked just fine. <laughs> I know, but I think my phone going off and back on for some reason. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I still it's still doing that. Oh. So jo Joanne, you missed it. So. For anybody who missed the pre-sale, the June and July kits are in the shop as well as the templates that come with it. Now, is that for everyone or just Kiwi Club members? That's for everyone that we decided on okay. this. Yep. Because it was originally offered to everyone. Right. So if for some reason you didn't get the memo, when we did the pre-sale, but it's very limited, right? Like it's yeah, it's so limited. We, I mean, we only order enough. Yeah. To, like I said, to cover the damages. So it's not a lot, you know, I'm saying even like 20 or 30, but you know, you can ho hurry over there. If you like wanted one extra thing of paper or whatever, it's there. But with that said, also, hopefully you all, everyone that wanted it, got it already. And hopefully we encourage you to pull it out because it's always nice when you actually uh, make a little bit of an effort to use what you what you got. You know what I mean? For sure. So we're going to create tonight doing that. All right. Um, Trisha says, I don't see them. Where would they be at, Amy, in the shop? There should be an overstock category is what I was told. OK, let me check on that. I hope. I was told they were they were going to show up right at six. So Jean, did you just barely get it or you're saying you got it when it was released? Oh, good. Cynthia says if they search by name, it comes up. Okay. It should be in the overstock category. And for some reason, it's not just search. So we have, <coughs> excuse me, um, the adventure kit and what's yours called Aloha, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the template is wilderness. And then what is, um, what's yours? Um, tropical. Oh, for the designer templates. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tropical. Yeah. Yeah, so um, Marcia, these are bears and they're the cutest bears ever. I love them. Just the funnest design. And these colors are just, I'm doing family pictures in a couple weeks and these are my colors. I probably should save some, some of this paper. <laughs> but I got like the teal and the yellow and the green. Okay, so show us the, um, the bears again. Oh, you, yeah, I think it was off of you. There you go. Oh, okay. So yeah, so here's the bears and then we got the camp. Super cute. This stripe is one of my favorite stripes you guys have ever done. 
I love it. Oh yeah, you love that one. I do think it's really cute. It's just the color. The the really rich jewel tones are fun. Yeah. Um, and then like the split paper is always fun because you just get a little bit extra, and then quite a few options for background. Quite a quite a few variety. You, there's so there's two of each of these that like this is one and this one. Anyway, that's the. Adventure. Did you cut the? Did I miss that? Did you cut the little samples out of the back? Is that what's on the right side there? You just cut them out and put them to the side. Yeah. Yeah. I just I didn't want to um I didn't want to have that whole massive thing there, so I just cut it out so I could see it. <laughs> Which you could always do. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm yeah, gonna get so my Trisha, Oh, sorry. Trisha's asking. If like to get them together, we just split them up because the reason is the pre sell. Yeah, it, the pre sell is because it's too hard to. Well, some people you know, want like, more people paper. want one, other, both. So yeah, yeah, they're they're listed separately. So for me, I'm going to be um, scrapbooking some memories from one of our events back in November of 2019 it's crazy even thinking it back to 2019 i noticed i printed these off the selfie and it cut off the site so i might have to reprint this picture i'm a little sad about that so i'm gonna have to reprint it but we had like a aloha um well a hawaiian uh theme night <laughs> right uh -huh. so they'll be really fun kind of wasn't um, that october and there's jody what wasn't that october October, yeah, end of October, I believe. So no, early you November. said November, so I was just confused. Early November, yeah, I think. I don't know. Who knows where we are in life anymore? I don't know. <laughs> A long, long oh, time ago. God. Oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna start by picking my background. So then I'm gonna go on mine, and then you can kind of get started, and then we'll split to yours, Amy. It's not letting us do it, even though we tested it yesterday. <laughs> so we will test it again some other time. I don't know. It just doesn't okay. want to get being picky, picky, picky. I wonder if I hold on, I'm gonna. I just don't know why it's doing it, but we'll see what happens there. I'm excited do you to have layer. It on gallery. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, so backgrounds. What do we got here? Okay, so I, you know, one of the things I love about this one is this purple that's in here. Um, I think that it's so cute. The um, this kind of more, I, well, I don't want to say plum because it's not like really plum, but um, I don't know what shade you would call this, but you, you don't see a lot of, huh? Is it fuchsia because it has the pink in it? It has a little bit. Well, that one, this one's a little bit more. There's two shades here going on, but mm. you just don't see a lot of that in. So that's kind of fun. I love that. And let me see, I'm trying to decide. See, there's a lot of blue in my pictures. So for me, I'm not sure I want to go the blue. I don't know. I feel like I might go the purple just to kind of feel like I'm doing something a little more unique than others i guess other projects i do we use a lot of teal because teal goes with everything i think i am i'm gonna go with this purple so i finally got my nails done okay. <laughs> i finally got them done every time i'm in video i have like these chip nails and i'm like i need to go get my nails done i need to get them done all right line my background up that was super smart how you cut those out there. Are you picking your background? Yep. Okay. I think your screen is a little out of. Do I need to pull it more? Yep, you need to go up on yours. Correct. Okay, so guys, I, I, I noticed that a lot of you guys were talking in the community about how, whether that's an idea books or samples that are in the back of the insert that we include to kind of give um, a little bit of a guidance or inspiration. 
Um, sometimes it is definitely hard if you're used to like the sketches um, more than uh, looking at a layout and seeing kind of like what you can do with that. Um, but yeah, I think it's more just kind of like trying to look beyond the pictures and looking at the layout itself, especially if you're using the same paper, it gives you a little bit of a guidance on, oh, those layer really cute. I really like that. So I'm going to kind of do that same layering with those two patterns. But if you, of course, were using other paper, then I definitely think that sometimes it's hard to not see the color palette per se. Um, but again, you can look at it and say, okay, I love how they use um, in this case, Paisley Place down here. And I love how these, these photos are placed, the placement of the photos and different things. Actually, I'm trying to think, I have a lot of pictures, so I'm gonna try to fit, I could amount on here, but I might have to do a couple of pocket pages with mine as well. Um, I think I'm gonna actually use Paisley Place. So I'm gonna pull that out and start with that. What border are you working with, Amy? So, <clears throat> I decided to use um, the cliffhanger. Oh, I love the cliffhanger. How fun. I know. It's one I've only used a few times because it's fairly new, right? I mean, it was yeah. June, I think. Yeah. Um, and I just love it. And it it's kind of fun. It's so different than what I'm used to. So I like it. And I feel like it could kind of layer really pretty with this mountain. Um, yeah that I'm kind of, so I'm kind of looking at um, this specific one on the back, the insert kind of playing with that. So yeah, like, like Susan was saying, I think it's just, you kind of pick a, pick a place where the border is, but it, you can pick any border, whatever one you have, whatever one you want to use, does not matter. They, they all look cute. And I just really like this color. I don't know, but what do you think? With all this green in here, does that clash? Maybe it does. <laughs> well, I think it's a little darker green. See, mine was more like the the more precise blue. So I feel like I was, I don't know. I like it with that dark, that more forest green with the, it's pretty, yeah, it doesn't bother I like me. It. So. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, so just kind of picking, picking pictures now. Okay, so I am going to be pulling out mine I almost I was like oh but I I feel like if I <clears throat> I might use it on everything because of course the coastal highway I was looking through my designer templates and I was like wait no the coastal highway is so cute the little wave and coastal highway mm -hmm. okay somebody still needs to do this like I want to see it done I have not done it myself but I really want to see the coastal highway done like for more of like a rooftop effect like a Christmas layout or something like more of that kind of feeling does that make sense yeah that's I think it would be so cute like so it looks like snow instead of water yeah well like if you did it like not necessarily bottom wave but like top like I it reminds me of like icicles kind of like especially if you did a little I don't know glitter or something on it I don't know I'm gonna have to play with it I could see it in my head <laughs> yeah I think it would be so much fun to naturally look at it and you start thinking okay and then I am obsessed with, of course, these funky frills that when I started to think of Paisley Place, I was like, wait, I could then use because it works with the funky frills. <laughs> I could use this one. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I mean, it's a little bit spunk, but I feel like, again, you know, um, this does remind me of a dinosaur. Everyone always says it, and it does. But it's really just another chance for another color of layer. And I think that's what fun is fun about the funky frills. I think mm -hmm. that's really cute that it can do that. So I uh, have not um I've not used that. Yet. Oh, so cute. Gail I I have a lot of tonight. She the last time you've seen her too that she's been putting in the play to create group. So so cute. So cute. Yeah, like snow drifts. It, exactly, Sheila. <laughs> I think it could be really fun because again, once you change that paper up, the look of it changes with it. So it's all about perspective, you know, kind of like mm -hmm. what patterns, what colors are you using, different things like that. So another thing I love about this layout right here is this kind of color combo layering that's going on. Um, I think that's really fun. 
it's interesting. I, this Charlotte actually made this layout and I believe Mindy made this one, but they both decided to kind of design up around their photos, which I think is always nice to kind of point out how they're adding some tiny borders to kind of mm -hmm. dress up. Like she, they both did it actually, ironically. That's interesting. You know, what's so, funny is on my layout, there are a bunch of tiny borders, which is one of the reasons I picked it. <laughs> right. I think that we were kind of obsessed with those naturally at that time. So I got to pick out. I think about title. two years ago is when it came out, isn't it? Um, I think that's when we shifted to the longer borders. Like we we started to right. adjust the pocket yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really crazy. I literally my years get all mixed up if I'm not looking at like an actual calendar or something. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, Jean, yeah, like rays of sunshine. Maybe I will put it in yellow to kind of brighten it. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna shift it over to you, Amy, so they can kind of see what you're working on while I'm still working on mine, and then we'll see the okay. progress. Yeah, so I just really quickly cut my pictures to kind of fit that um kind of what that layout was because really i think that's the that's what you first look at or i look at is like the structure that i like that you know the structure of it because then you know you can change anything you want like i totally changed the border and you can change anything and so that's just kind of where i started um and then something that's kind of fun i've done before is make um like we were roasting marshmallows and you can make there's that autumn um branch tree branch and so that's something i i don't know i'll look at that one and i'll look at a few other things but um i definitely want to throw in some marshmallows roasted marshmallows on this um mm -hmm. but wilderness is a really really cute set um definitely one that um can be used like this and we don't have a trailer so i don't know how much i'll use the actual trailer but um this tent and the tree it's so cute yeah um there's a was that compass the flashlight and then this little geotag all the time use it and so you can't really see this and then there's this mountain so that's the wilderness set that's everything but really great one knocked it out of the pot I'm actually kind of torn. Hey, Noreen, how are you? Sorry, I went to say hi to you. Hey, um, yeah. Let me show you tropical since she just showed you the designer templates again. If you guys don't have these, this is your kind of last chance until they're officially more vaulted for a couple more years. Um, the tropical comes with the pineapple. I love that. Noreen, I remember a page you did with that tropical. It was so cute. I'm trying to, was it you? I'm trying to remember. I feel like I remember your page with the tropical um, pineapple on it. Um, maybe it was from Tiny Seaside, though. You also get this. I love these tropical leaves. I love those leaves. <laughs> yeah. You know, actually, it reminds me of another page that Leslie did. Remember that cute page that Leslie created with these? All, I like, totally I scrap lifted that one for sure. Yeah. All it's, when, it's one of my favorite layouts. I just love it. A little turtle, a dolphin. And of course, a beautiful tropical flower. Um, I'm kind of struggling because I'm like, I might do a lot of, it might be a layering night, guys. I might literally, I got to kick it up a gear if I'm going to throw all these layers in because Paradise is the one that they they really highlighted in here too, this layout. And I just love that back layer. It's so pretty. I love that. So I might be throwing a little bit of tropical, a little bit of Paradise, and a little bit of Tiny Seaside. And we are going to have a vacation on my layout, literally going all in. <laughs> we're gonna be layering this up. Um, we're gonna have a little bit of a little bit of fun for sure. So again, I think that that's the nature of the play to create system is if you like that simple look, then you can. I think it's always about mood for me. Like I'm very kind of a mood creator. <laughs> I think we all are, right? Does that make sense? Mood creator that you get to like sometimes. What? I'm, I'm moody? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no. 
That's what I'm asking. Is that what you're saying? You know, everyone has their days. Ask my children, they'll probably tell you, yes, I'm moody all the time. That's probably true. <laughs> Today was definitely one of those days. I was like, please do your chores. Oh, man. We're still working on this chore chart thing. It's a work in progress. I feel like the chores kind of get halfway done throughout the week. And then Saturday, I'm like, no, the chores need to be really done nicely now. <laughs> they kind of get halfway done. My kids are still in that stage where they absolutely like love unloading the dishwasher and they fight over it. I'm like, oh, good. Let's keep oh, that up. <laughs> keep that up. <laughs> Let's keep that up. Cleaning on the other hand, not so much, but at least there's one thing that they really like. <laughs> yeah, no, I really shouldn't complain. My kids are really, really good at pitching in. So, but that was definitely our morning today was just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I like a clean house though. It just doesn't stay clean for very long. So sometimes you do wonder, what's the point? Let me just go play and craft a little bit. <laughs> like why waste my time? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out my pictures at this point. I'm thinking, I def like I said, I want to try to get as many on as possible. So I'm going to have to do some cropping here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit them all. I'm going to have to just do another page probably, which is great because these layout kits at least do two two page layouts plus depending on how many layers you do but every kiwi club kit i get at least two two pages so depending on how you define that that's basically you know four one pagers and then typically i can even get one more one pager and like three more cards out of every kiwi club kit i get everyone most likely so and if you do some pocket pages or some um like used card stack you can get a few more in there yeah and you were going to ask about the chore chart leslie <laughs> yeah um still working on it we call it Lo they get Lumi points Lumi is kind of like our um home we decided to kind of name our homeschooling <laughs> um so they're called the Lumis, which is like uh and then our our little mascot is called uh their lightning bugs fireflies or lightning bugs depending on how you decide because <laughs> everyone's different. I've noticed that. Um, actually, that's a good debate here in the comments. Lightning bugs or fireflies? How do you know it, Amy? Um, well, I think lightning bugs, but I've never once seen one in my life, so I don't know. Oh, I'm going to send you. No, it's past season now. Next time, I didn't know that. I'm going to oh. send you. Just have an event over there whenever it's seasons. Okay. <laughs> Just not in the dead of winter. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll send you a little video next time they're out oh, in the dark because the kids love going out with little jars and catching them. Trisha says lightning bugs. Um, when, I always, when I would see them as a kid, I was like, those aren't real. I think they're just like magic. And I didn't believe <laughs> that they existed. <laughs> They are real. And so they are fun though. Um, I didn't see them for the first time either until I believe it was actually one of the scrapbook expos we went to way back in the days. We were in Philadelphia, I believe, and that's my first time I saw them. David, of course, he grew up in Kentucky with you know Shiloh and them. Um, and so they always had fire or lightning bugs. <laughs> So I love this fair paper, but I kind of really like the the teal paper with it. What do you think? I meant to do bear, but what do you think? I like that teal. Um, I think it's like I think the bear one is more thematic, but I kind of like the neutralness of. Hmm, I don't know. I just do would have think? to pull in some more. Yeah, I think you're right, but like I have to pull in something else that's a little more like folder right which i don't really have hmm. i can always use this yeah I, I just like it i think it kind of is pretty are you gonna pull the stripe in is that what you're gonna do yeah to add kind the more, bit more of that neutral trendy look instead of more of the themey look yeah that's mm -hmm. kind of fun yeah It's cute. 
you know that that the that paper is very um, motivating. I don't know why, just something about it. And I think yellow is my favorite color. It just makes me happy. <laughs> okay. Anything that's the yellow paper in it. Lately, that's how I am too, which I wasn't. It's funny how we kind of shift in our our interest a little bit. Because I agree. That's why this time around, I bought a yellow foam case. Because I was like, oh, I need a little bit more yellow in my life, I think. <laughs> a little bit more bright and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, with family pictures, I picked yet for me to wear yellow. I'm pretty excited. Oh, did you guys just do family pictures? We are in a couple weeks. The smoke keeps canceling us because, you know, it's the smoke, it just destroys everything. So it looks awful. Yeah, right. So we've had to reschedule a few times, but, you know, we'll get there eventually. I know. Hopefully it starts. We've gotten so much more rain here too, just in general, but um, yeah. Cool. We just did today and it's beautiful blue skies again. That's what I was about to say. I was saying you guys need rain over there is what I was thinking. Yeah. Well, yeah, when I was, um, <laughs> we haven't seen sun forever. And then I was Marco Poloing you this morning. And I could barely see. Uh -huh. <laughs> so <was> in my eye. <laughs> It's <laughs> cute, cute. That T ball. Fine. Okay, let me change the view over to me. I think I got mine pretty much layered up here. I got my papers all trimmed. Um, Sheila says, just curious, Amy, do you live in Boise? Um, Sort of. I live close to Boise. I live in Eagle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of Eagles between Middleton and Boise, which Middleton is where our home office is. Right. She used to live in Middleton, but she moved out to yeah. Middleton for Meridian Eagle. Eagle. Yeah. Eagle. <laughs> I was so sick of driving everywhere. Middleton's kind of one of those, like the further out suburbs that like nothing is there and you always have to drive everywhere. Well, and your kid's school was out that way too. And, and my husband's work. So it's kind yeah. of, a, it's a little bit further for me to drive, but not much. It's not bad. Right. I'm pulling teeny tiny seaside in. So I'm definitely going to be doing some kind of layers here. I think tiny seaside's my favorite. Oh my gosh. I think it's just so tiny. <laughs> it's so I cute. Know. <laughs> I'm like, just, it's not like terribly tiny, but it is something about playing with it in your hands that makes you just kind of smile. It's super yeah. fun. Um, yep. Super cute. Okay, so I'm just curious if any of you guys are creating along with us. And if so, what projects are you are you playing with? Sheila, I think you know my nephew and his wife. Well, what's their name? I don't know very many people though. <laughs> I'm a bit of a homebody. Everybody's a bit of homebody these days. <laughs> I know that's true. Everybody's a Which homebody. Which means I'm actually doing great. Like I have no yeah, problems that's with right. this. <laughs> Although I did go shopping. It's been a while since I've bought any clothes. So I went shopping today and it was like, it was so exhausting to have that mask on in that hot mall. Oh, it was awful. Yeah, that's when you start saying, okay, online, but I don't like buying clothes online. It's not the most convenient well, for me. And then you end up returning a bunch of stuff because you want to just like, I was buying pants and I'm like, I do not, I just, you want to try it on. <laughs> oh, pants are hard, super hard. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Ooh, lots of people are creating. Or Good. Julie, cards, awesome. Okay, I think I'm officially done. So I'm gonna do a little layering here, a little layering here. I'll probably stick this behind this border. Little layering here, little layering here. I told you guys we're layering it up. Why not? 
That's one of the best things I love about fall is that I can start layering my clothes because I guess naturally I just love layers. So, you know. know. <laughs> well, and we just keep our, the office is always freezing and my home's always freezing. So I always have a little sweater on at work. I know I have a sweater on right now. It's so, I'm cold in my house because yeah. I love this Oasis all I heard. It's, it's probably, I, but I use it very much often. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna limit myself this time because I use it too mm -hmm. much. Too well, much. and it's not necessarily a, la a layering one as much. No, well, it's a collaging one. Like you could like cluster together. And I think that's really cute. I love clusters, but yes. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of choose what main pattern I'm gonna do here. Again, the great thing about these little th um, samples on the back is that it gives you a formula, really, not only a um, layout um, placement design, but also a formula as far as the papers, um, what patterns layered great together, um, which ones, you know, do you like the stripe, and that one, um, sometimes that's useful and sometimes it's not, but just kind of when you're looking at it, you know, be mindful of that too, like, kind of keep an, you know, an eye out for that. And that might help you kind of explore that and kind of see that creative process happening there. Again, like the balances of patterns being utilized with the yellow and the yellow and the, you know, all of that stuff, you see all of that in action as far as the process goes. So for me, every time I look at one of my big borders, as previously discussed, like I look at some kind of main pattern being used there, whether that's the pumpkins, or one of these, I feel like if you put some of your more um, main patterns is what we reference them, but basically what we mean by that is um, patterns with more designs on them, right? Like more theme, whatever you want to set the tone with, I always feel like is really helpful um, to utilize those in the borders because then it kind of frames your pictures and complements them. And that's, you know, ultimately is the goal, but for us here at QB Lane, of course, we're always sharing that um, it's okay to also have a beautiful frame for your memories to really give that creative expression, um, especially for the scrapbooking and different things. So I, of course, kind of always keep that in mind in the back of my head. Man, all of these are so cute. I'm like, I don't know which one I want. <laughs> I know, they're so cute. They're so cute. Gosh dang it. Um, Although that one layers, I don't know if that's the best for the like your background you chose. So maybe, yeah, I was thinking maybe this one that would be cute because of the white in it. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do this kind of see how she's got the stripe with this pattern. I think those two actually look really good together the stripe and that one, kind of keep it. Um, mm -hmm more focused uh, more and I think it gives it slight more clean feel too and I have a lot going on on this page so cool I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that all right I'm gonna turn it over to you okay so I am just cutting out my tiny borders but I I did start cutting out my ring and I just kind of want to share this tip that um if you are like for instance, I'm going to do the exact same thing she did here. And sometimes I'm like, people are like, well, if you just copy it, it's just copying. And I'm like, no, it just means that it's like, I don't have her layout in my scrapbook album. I don't care. <laughs> um, and I'm not copying it. I'm just like, well, it looks really cute like that. So I'm going to do right. that. Um, and, and I'll definitely make it my own, but in some ways, but I wanted to share with rings. I know we share this a lot, but it really does is so nice that if you know you're going to hide part of it, just cut into your ring and then you can go through and it just is a lot easier to to get your ring cut out. And then as you're going through, if you keep your cuts on the back, like the deep end of your scissors, it's going to go a lot more smooth. The more you get towards the edge, it starts like showing a little, like it's not going to be a, as good of a circle. And of course, I like Tim Holtz scissors, but it's okay if you use other ones. <laughs> She's Team Susan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I like them. I like the Tim Holtz too, but I mean, them still stick to their. We call it scrapbooking and 100% legal. Exactly, Amy. No, I really do believe that um, 
I'm a huge fan of allowing inspiration to flow freely. And I think yep. it's a good thing. So I'm not that's just kind of like the share freely concept and all of everybody's inspiration comes from somewhere. Legit, every single person in the world that creates any kind of thing, it, it's sprung from something. So yeah. Um, oh, your Hawaii pictures, memories. Oh, how fun. That would be fun to. Yeah, my niece lives in Hawaii. My kids are like, can we go visit her? And I'm like, um, I can go visit her. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, she's with her family growing. She probably doesn't have room for everybody anymore. No. <laughs> life like um living expenses are crazy like what they pay for their little small one bedroom apartment it's outrageous i think she pays more in rent than we do for our bigger home it's crazy oh yeah yeah but she gets to live in hawaii so i do not feel she, that for her well she always <laughs> says that she says you pay for the scenery that's what you're paying for when you live here yeah you pay, you, you pay so that you can walk out and uh go to the beach basically so no although it kind of makes me laugh because like i'm like i live in idaho i could probably you know not the same thing by any means but you can go out to the pretty mountains just like in a half hour <laughs> right no we did go visit her I me mean, my husband we went out oh gosh that was probably three years ago and it just felt like every time you walked down we went to the mainland though and um anyways we would, we would just drive and then there'd be a beach and nobody would be at it. It was just excluded. It, it was like, wow. Cause you know, you had your kind of main beach fronts, but you could pull over and pop it, pop a seat anywhere. It was really nice. It was great. So Sheila says I used to live in, in Hawaii. Yes. The prices are crazy. <laughs> yeah. I always wish I would have gone there for school. Like, I'm like, why did I not take advantage of that cheaper yeah. option? <laughs> BYU Idaho. I'm like, it should have gone to BYU Hawaii. <laughs> They're limited though on their degrees. I hear. I so, but um, gosh, for your first two years, you can at least get your generals. <laughs> yeah. Her husband is a marine biologist, so kind of worked out for them. Oh, cool. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, so Sheila, you're back. So who is your Sheila? Who's your nephew and his wife? I'm curious now. Oh, I was going to mention that earlier. Love bugs. Someone who mentioned that I saw it come by and I was going to say it, but you were talking the oh. reference a uh, lightning bugs. I love bugs. I love that. Anyway. Yes. Who are you referencing Sheila? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was a really cute movie where it was like, uh, I don't know. Love there was a cute movie where they called it no, they, they, they were talking about the bugs that their butt lights up, right? I mean, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, light, light bugs. Yes, their butt yeah, lights Yeah, and I, there was a sort of, like, I don't know, it was like some kid called it something really cute. I don't know. Oh, okay. gotcha. Just I saying. thought maybe you were talking about the Love Bug movie. No joke, we watched that about two weeks ago. <laughs> it, sounded, it was a little old, old in the sense of, I feel like it was a little slower now we're used to it being, but um, yeah. <sighs> love Bug, oh, lovely movie, Love Bug classic old one so okay here is kind of my working progress here yeah i'm going to be doing that yellow so i just wanted to grab that one i'm not doing the full length so because i'm tucking these in and not using them as a a, a border itself i'm using it as a layer i'm only doing a partial right so i'm not going the full length of the paper so like this one i stuck off my page about i don't know inch and a half so then i'll just shorten the the width of these on the funky frills okay seriously you gotta pull out your funky frills amy they're so much fun <laughs> i know i use i use funky frills on my layout last weekend oh i love them it's so much fun i love that little pop i'm excited to see what it looks in yellow I, Definitely took your guys' advice and I did it in yellow because I thought, yep, that looks like little rays of sunshine. Well, and I feel like I think funky frills in general, I just think it looks a lot better 
when the the funky frill part is a solid color it seems to really pop oh like the trim right yeah i think it could be cute actually i mean even in this stripe it would have been cute but i really i agree though i do think that it really pops with more blenders or like more solid colors yeah not busy necessarily mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah well, and I've seen like, so one thing I've seen some other people do that's so cute is you can kind of take that methodology of funky frills and um, double like, oh, the borders. Yeah. Yeah. Like you kind of just do a solid one that is that same shape as your border. And that's really good mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So you're saying like, because I cut this border out, I could just move this down and kind of do another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could totally could do that. So you can, especially if something feel, if you feel like it's not like popping, then you can give um, them a trim. Yeah. In other words, yeah. I always think that's really pretty, especially like with white card stock. Sometimes they really call for it. Yeah, this one you definitely, you, and you guys probably saw me doing that. I, I have to move back and forth, but still, I don't know how long that was, probably 40 seconds. I don't know. But I definitely have all my pencil lines just because of the nature of the design, which for me, there's no point wasting my time erasing those. I'll just ink right over them. Okay, it gives it a nice clean look. The princess and the frog, maybe that's it because. Oh, um, I haven't seen that forever. My kids love it. Legit, when my kids were young. That's probably the last time I saw it. Wait, I mean, are we talking about the one like Tiana, Princess Tiana, or are you talking about a different one? Because it hasn't been around that frog. The, the tune, the, yeah, the cartoon one. Yeah. Is that what, and I don't know if they mentioned lightning bugs or in there, I don't know, I don't remember that. That's part. what Danny was saying, Danny was saying they do. I don't remember, but. That's it. Okay, look how cute that little bit of yellow popping. Oh on that. yeah. Isn't that Perfect. fun? So cute. Super cute. All right, guys, don't forget, if you are creating something, we pick winners. We're actually coming up on the end of a month here. So we pick winners. Make sure to use hashtag create with Kiwi Lane for a chance to win one of the three um, $25 gift certificates we give out each month for just sharing, sharing and playing. So if you are creating, definitely go in and share whether that's on your own pages um, or inside of the Kiwi Lane community online on our website, still use that um, hashtag create with Kiwi Lane so that we can we can search you and find you. And then we'll be picking some winners here soon. So that's always fun. Of course, I love that because it's like another motive to kind of create something, but you always have the prize of actually accomplishing the creation too <laughs> you know what I mean mm -hmm. so yeah okay I kind of messed this up I love that aloha state of mind mm -hmm. all about your state of mind okay I really had an urge to cut those leaves out to start seeing that come alive over here I think it's gonna be so much fun so Oh, no, I'll finish my borders. I'm jumping ahead here. I, I want to cut out these layers just so I can see the pretty layering of them, but I will cut out this other border really quickly. Of course, just placing it on my layout, lining it up on the edge, trace, take the opposite end that I designed with. Oh, line that up, make a mark. I always like to reinforce that because there have been too many times that I've seen people, you know, cut them out separately. Sometimes you do that intentionally, but for the most part, they are designed to work together so that you only trace it once, you cut it once, and you'll get two pieces from that cut. Yeah. Okay, show us what you got, Amy. Well, I'm kind of irritated at myself. <laughs> Because oh. I found this really cute title card and it says like campfires and marshmallows were better together, but it doesn't quite match the background paper and so I'm like, dang it. 
It doesn't but I, match it? What do you mean? Well, like, I just can't put it right next to it because it's like a different blue. So while it matches the paper, it doesn't necessarily match the, my big, um, like the big teal one. Oh, okay. So I might have to, I don't know, we'll figure something out, but. I can't I'm see thinking, that. I can't see that distinct difference over the, the, the camera. So like, yeah, what if I, I don't know, like if I hold it up really close, you can kind of see that it's just a, it's like a blue and a teal. So it's just very. Oh, the shades are, well, they're the same shades. It's just one's on top, one's on bottom. Correct. Yeah. No. Can you see? Show it again. It doesn't look as bad on the yeah. camera. I don't know. Yeah, the, yeah. Green, the green is the bottom layer on that one. That's what it is. Yeah. Are you going to, so you you don't know if you were, sorry, go ahead. Where are you going to put it? Oh, I don't know, but I'm just saying if I don't put it right next to it and somebody suggested matting it, which is a good idea, I think yeah. it'll be fine. We'll be fine. Well, I was going to say, do you, is that because you wanted it at the top? You want it as your main one or are you going to keep the horrors, uh, horizon one? Or are you wanting it as a subtitle? I might switch the mountains to that. And then I was thinking I could put like a title right there. So. Yeah, because you could also fill the middle of your rings like a solid if you want. Which would, instead of matting it like exactly, like you could just add a little uh, color. You could keel, still keep the stripe edging on your ring, but then you could just take your internal ring. What's on the back of the stripes that you cut out? So that yes. circle ring. Yeah. So what? Where's the middle to that? That you right there by your. Oh, you're right by your ring or ink at the top. It's brown on the other side. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I'll just. Did you say you were going to make some marshmallows or try to figure out how to like make little marshmallows? Yeah, and then I'm going to make a little fire. I I like doing a fire with this little, the old Halloween ghost. Oh, you did that then, on the Halloween layout. That was so cute. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, I'm trying to think though, like tiny, is it tiny holiday or tiny traditions that has the ghost? <laughs> uh, tiny holiday. Okay, I need to find... Because you can layer them together so it looks like the flames are going two ways. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to find that Halloween layout that you did. It's probably in the yeah. book. I'm trying to remember if it is or isn't, but that's really cute. You did it, it out of the cauldron. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. Like I said, Halloween's my favorite. <laughs> I know. A gold could make the pyre. Um, oh, sorry, Beth. The, the hashtag is uh, create. create with Kiwi Lane. Creates with Kiwi Lane. Yes, I will probably do the fire in the yellow for sure. Gold. I need to come up with a way to layer though. I feel like I spent half my time flipping through my template. I still haven't labeled anything yet. Oh, uh, Beth was saying the body of the owl in the autumn. She's saying that she used that as a marshmallow before. I'm trying to picture that. I love well, that. Yeah, for sure. So what I did last time is I actually just used this charmed or you know what I did? I think I just did um, a one inch strip and cut and just cut them out to look like a rectangle and I rounded the corners. Rounded the corners. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pretty simple. Because then you can kind of do it whatever size you want. Because, yeah. Well, just because it depends on how much of your page you're you're working with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I will say, seeing all of these. Uh, pictures are making me really want to go on a cruise <laughs> not like not I'm not going on a cruise but it makes me want it makes me miss it I do enjoy I have it. never been on a cruise I know you said that and I was like okay we're it's, gonna have to I we were trying to convince Susan that we should do our next leadership meeting <laughs> our, annual, <laughs> our annual meeting yeah no they didn't go on this one we just took a few you have the 
um, leaderships on this one, this last one. Anyways, but no, I remember the first cruise I ever went on. I think the kids, oh, Eli was probably, oh boy, how old was he? Well, we went on when he was probably like three. Um, we just went like on a three day one from California at the time. But then I remember the first one I went on, my kid, my mom and dad came and like watched the kids and I was like, this is so relaxing. <laughs> it was really relaxing. <laughs> just to kind of get away, no kids. And it just felt, you know, the kids loved it the one time we did take them because of course they thought it was heavenly that they could eat as much ice cream as they wanted. But that's kind of how I feel about it as well because I'm like, I can eat as much ice cream as I want. <laughs> Actually, here is a uh, one of the pictures I didn't get fitted on this layout. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> this is us eating ice cream. Oh, I, don't, I think it's on me. Um, oh, now it's back there. Yeah, Aaron, David, and David's got two in his hand <laughs> for eating That's as much awesome. ice cream. Yeah. <sighs> Worth you pay it. for it, man. Worth it, right? <laughs> Although on the Royal, when we went, to, they closed down their ice cream thing. I was like, what? It's like midnight that you're craving ice cream. Why are you shutting it down? But yeah, they closed theirs at a certain time. So that was a little shocking to Shiloh. She was like, what? Why? Where's the ice cream? <laughs> we <were on. laughs> oh, anyways, also. How many of you guys have been on a cruise? I'm curious. Or are you like, I have an aunt. She is she, Terry and Terry. She is completely anti-cruise. She's like, no. And I was like, oh, I think they're fun. Yeah. It reminds me of, did you ever read a Sizzler growing up? <laughs> um, I don't know, but they had a, they, they, it's like a buffet. So you can have as much okay. food. They have a soft serve of ice cream there too. Oh yeah, like Golden Corral or uh huh, yeah. What's the one there in I of Boise? It's not called Golden Corral. It's called I don't know. Thing. Totally spacing it. Alaskan cruise. Oh Diane, I would love to do an Alaskan cruise. I bet yes. you have tons of pictures from that Alaskan cruise. Lots of memories. Oh, Jean, she got terribly seasick. Yes, I thought it would. Get, I did. I do get seasick. Well, I get motion sickness too, and I did the peppermint oil and the and that really really helped. And then, luckily, just over time with traveling between all the expos early on, it really helped with my uh, motion sickness. But I've shared this memory before. But Debbie's always laughs because sometimes when we were flying to those expos around the world or country um she always was hesitant to sit by me in the plane because it never failed I always threw up and she was like oh my gosh luckily I don't throw up when people throw up because I would be packing she was always <laughs> she was always a trooper she would hold my hair while I'm throwing up in a bag and then I would feel so embarrassed I'd be like apologizing to the people around me and I'm like I'm so sorry so I was a little nervous when we went on our first cruise because I thought I don't know I'm going to do this there was one day like a sea day that I just had to stay up in fresh air and I just like I didn't do much so yes I know I have sympathy for that it is no fun if you are if you have crazy emotion like that's no fun at all not fun so I know when I was a kid too I always had it but I think really just traveling a little bit more helped I don't know I still get it. Like if I, if I'm driving in the car and I look down for too long, I can't read in the car. Like that will just, hmm. Oh yeah. I can't either. Well, cool. but when I was a kid, I used to do the same thing. I, for some, but for me, when I was a kid, currently my dad was like, if you just never grabbed a bag or anything, you just threw up on my lap every single time. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. So I remember when we started traveling, my parents were like, out of all of my kids, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty surprised that you're the one that travels the most. <laughs> because um, they, I hated it. I hated, I hated road trips or anything like that. I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> I got so sick when I was pregnant that like 
they gave me like, I don't know, like a ton of those carb throw up bags. So we keep those for our kids. They're really handy. <laughs> oh, it is nice. Yeah. Yeah, we used to take them off the plane and put them in our car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time we would go, we would just take the extras and stay. Well, let's put those in our club department, you know, in the car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are really great to have. Yeah, my Lacey, my daughter Lacey, she, um, she's my only one that slightly, slightly has motion sickness as well. So yes, Natalie, my nails are officially done. I finally, after weeks, <laughs> found some time in my life to go and get my nails done. It feels good. Oh, so glad you noticed Natalie. <laughs> Well, I'll be honest. I actually, I am really bad at like when life gets a little stressed and overwhelming, I pick at my cuticles. I don't even know that I'm doing it. So I just like kind of pick at them. So for me, having my nails done kind of helps combat that. So. Well, and when all you see is your hands on all these videos you're doing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be honest. It's more because I have, uh, I just, my mom used to pick her cuticles too. My, my sisters used to, and I think my sister, Emily does. she's like, I wonder if it's genetic. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, even like if I watch like a really dramatic like movie or something like that, my husband's like, let me hold your hand. And I'm like, okay, you hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just it's his excuse to hold my hand. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He can hold my hand. Oh. I was going to say, my husband's usually the opposite. <laughs> Not necessarily wanting to. Um, no snuggles during movies? You, no snuggling? Nope. Oh. That's okay. If I'm not doing something, otherwise, like he knows, like a lot of times we'll watch movies too. It just to stay awake, I'll be like, I'm going to grab card supplies. Like I'll make a couple handmade cards or something if we want to watch a movie together. Otherwise, he's like, no, no crafting to tonight's movie. All we're going to do is snuggle. And I'm like, okay. But he has to like tell me, like, you're not allowed to bring anything to the movie. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, sounds good. Oh. Cray cray. Okay, well, I'm kind of still on mine. Should we move over to your look how pretty this is, guys? I love the paradise and the tropical. I mean, one, this is the paradise accessory, just for the record. I'll just, and then of course that's like the tropical layered with it. And look how cute these look, how fun those are. I love the tropical leaves. Love them. Cute. I could overuse them very fast. Actually, I think I'm gonna put this one up here or the long one over here. Cute. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, let me go to you. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. Hey, so I just made these, fi the fires, whatever, the logs by cutting strips of paper. And then, so then I have my fire. So these are just strips that I kind of curled the edges and then, um, I don't know where they went. Oh, right here. And then I used the two ghosts from Halloween and Tiny Holiday. I just kind of have them opposite. And so that's my flame. So that's my little fire. I love it. The marshmallow. I'm just in the inking stage. <laughs> you got all of them cut out and stuff. That's cute. Like, I think this. I think this ink pad must be like dried out because it's a different one and it's not working. I don't like to put too much effort into inking. <laughs> It's not working easily. Get a different one. I'm trying to decide right now if I should. Hmm, keep the same rhythm. Yeah, let me. It's 
So I'm trying to decide like if I keep the same rhythm and just do this smaller because this is just basically like a this is from Tiny Seaside and it's just a smaller version of the same flower that's mm -hmm. in the paradise. And I'm like, should I keep the same kind of flow, you know, layering going? Should I do this one in that kind of pinky color too, or should I switch it up? That's what I'm oh, that part of it's it pops like crazy. It's so you cool. could you could switch it too though and have the inside one be the pink one. Mm hmm So I guess it decides I need to decide what color I'm gonna do. Hey Susan, you should do a giveaway. Okay, let's do a giveaway. <laughs> um I, I thought I was oh they thought I said hey Siri. <laughs> You put me on the spot. I always am like, okay, I'm going to come with good questions. And then of course I get so, it's really hard sometimes to keep these lives going because when I start cutting or inking, my brain just goes blank. <laughs> like I'm my, yeah. that's one of the beautiful things about creating is that you hit that creative flow state mind, mind, you know, in your mind. And so everything shuts off and that's great. That's really there. That's why the, it's therapeutic, but sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I'm live. I got to, Susan, you can't get stuck on your cutting. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's one of the things I really like about like when you're with your friends and scrapbooking um, is like, you know, you can do that. You can just listen and chat and you don't really have to think, but you can just kind of, that's one of the fun things about crops. And yeah, so, so can't be real in life in person. These are fun to do. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm gonna go a blue. Sorry, you caught me in the middle. I am thinking of a giveaway too. I'm thinking of what Sorry, color to do, and I'm thinking of a giveaway all at the same time. <laughs> all at the same time. Right. I'm thinking I can even do a little bit of that. Maybe I'll do another layer here or something. Actually, so look in this sample she did. Yeah, she did the pine tree pattern here with a little bit of that cream on the top. That's kind of cute. I think I shall do that. I think I shall. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit. All right. Um, OK, so I mentioned earlier in this picture these two these two guys standing behind me, their names. The first person that comments, their names, both of them. Both of their names has to be in the comment. We'll win a $5 gift certificate. That one's kind of tricky. Kind of slightly named them or called them by name. The Brothers Budge. The brothers of budges, <laughs> yeah. No, not not Eric and David Trees. David and Aaron. Yes. Well, oh, I think Beth was a typo though. Yeah, I think so too. So who got it? Beth. This is Beth Kiwi Lane. So I don't know. She's on there. It's her business. Oh, okay. Beth, you were the winner. Email support at kiwilane.com. Congrats, congrats. I saw something on the event page that had me pretty excited. I don't know if you want to share it. <laughs> what? With the creativity connection. Oh, uh-huh. Or is it a is it a coming soon situation? It's a coming soon one. Oh, okay, guys. Well, yeah. you're gonna be excited. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, nope, that's not out yet. <laughs> I tried, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, calm down. You're gonna <laughs> like it though. You're gonna like it. That's not yeah. We're it's still walking. We're happen. still walking through it. Yeah. Ah. It's, it's not official official yet. Right. Hmm. Hmm. So good cool. stuff. But we are excited for the upcoming events for the World Card Making Day. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of do a little bit of a pitch here because I hope you guys have been loving all that the creative partners that have shared what um 
this last week. They have just been so many good ideas from Mary's to Stacy to, you know, just, oh, Brandy's live. Like they've just been so much fun. I've even caught them and I've been watching them. I think I caught, watched Brandy's the other day while I was just making dinner. Like they're really, really fun. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, so much fun. And that's one of the, the beautiful things that we've been trying to really work with our creative partners on is that we really want to allow them to be kind of where all of the customers are and just for us to kind of share each other and have that, uh, I don't know, just di you know, diversity of voices and sharing your different, this different styles and techniques because each of us have, even though we're kind of using the same play to create system, I love seeing each other's like own personal way of style of doing it. You know what I mean? So much fun. Mm -hmm. But, and then I did the, did you see mine that I did, Amy? The fun, um, I saw um, the picture afterwards, the leaves. Yes, that was so much yeah, fun. Yeah, really cute. Where did I you did, put it? Uh, it's downstairs in my living room. It's so pretty. Every time I walk by it, it just makes me smile. But again, it makes me smile because it, it was also my father's, he made me that face. So it's just like. Oh, fun to see it kind of film. I really want to make a wreath out of that same technique though. I'm oh, hoping yeah. tomorrow that I find a little time to make a wreath. It wouldn't take long. It only took me like, I don't know, maybe an hour. It wasn't mm -hmm. long at all. It was really nice. I love it. Yeah. So cool. Joanne, yes, this is Annis right here in this picture. Yes. It's weird. Yeah. And Darlene, and then of course, lots of lots of lovely people over here in this picture. I'm not gonna put this down because like I said, I need to look at this picture and understand why. I don't know, have you ever had that problem with the selfie where it kind of cuts uh -uh. people off? Uh-uh. Oh yeah, I don't feel like I have either. So I didn't even really pay attention. I just printed them off. And then when I sat down, I was like, oh. I guess it I could be though that it just wasn't a four by six. Oh, so, maybe. You know, it just could be that it had to cut one way or the other off. So. Oh, Trisha is gonna make those sticks with the felt for a woodland animal baby shark. Adorable. What colors, Trisha? What what is your color um, palette for that? That's so cute. What a perfect theme or idea for a woodland theme. That's so fun. How fun. Yes, mm -hmm. Leslie, are you talking about get the girls down? So I told you guys, um, Maddie and Abby both want to make one of those. They said, Mom, can you make me one of these? They just like they both came in after the live and they were like, Mom, that is so cute, this stick with the felt. Mm -hmm. And they're like, Can you make some for my room? They want to like put them up around. Um, I think Madison's gonna put hers up around her um curtain rod. And I thought, huh, yeah. we'll see how that looks, right? <laughs> You're like, yeah. girls, get it on yourself. <laughs> That's what I told them. I said, listen, you want to make one? You can make one with me. We, we were talking about it. So they might sit down. We'll see if we have time tomorrow. I have a couple, I have a couple church meetings actually tomorrow, but um, anyways, so we'll see. And then I got to get my Sunday church nap in, <laughs> my Sunday nap in. <laughs> That's important. I was like, the only finally have yeah. church tomorrow. I'm pretty excited. Oh, that's good. I mean, we could have but light pinks, peach, and greens. Ooh, how pretty. How, how soothing, too. I love that. Oh, have you, that reminds me, have you seen the new updates for the iPhone? No. Oh, oh you mean like just the software updates? The aesthetic new uh, home, home page ones. Oh, where yeah. You can, like, customize it and like aesthetically make it a pleasing and clean. Oh my gosh. Madison's really excited about it. She did hers and she's like, mom, can I please have your phone to do yours? But I just haven't had enough time to allow her <laughs> to take my phone for longer, but I am really excited. So we talked about doing that tomorrow too. Man, I said a lot of things for tomorrow. Now that I think about it, I should <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> shouldn't have done that, but. Um, I just can't wait for the new phone to come out. <sighs> You and your new phones. I will keep this one. <laughs> I'll keep this one. <laughs> well, and also we have, um, you know how every city's different. Like AT&T stinks over here. It's just awful. 
Oh, and no. we didn't realize it. Like we switched and didn't realize like that it would be di that different. And now we're like, oh, so, you know, it, it almost can't come just for that reason too. <laughs> right. Yeah. But yeah, yes, I do like all things Apple. <laughs> Yeah, her and Aaron, if I, we always tease them. I always call them snobs. I'm like, you, you, you apple snobs. <laughs> I can't fight right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> this is not a commercial for iPhone, by the way, just so you guys know. <laughs> oh, yes, they would like to see Amy's page. Thank you, Marsha. We will shift views here. Here we go. It's all on you, Amy. All right. I am just cutting out my marshmallows. Um, so kind of the same way I made the logs, I'm just gonna, I cut out some strips and then I'll just kind of make um, marshmallows and then you can ink it. And the inking is the cooked marshmallow. And so you can come along and- And where are you gonna put those marshmallows? Oh yeah, that's cute. I mean, I'll, I'll probably just throw them in uh, all over the page for sure, but just like all around. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to glue everything down because I always get um, gathered. Hard to add it, but so what I did with this one is I did back it with the red because I wanted a little more red on the page too, and then it kind of made it so at least they're not touching, so it doesn't bother me as much. And you know what, like I really like Shiloh's layout has, I don't know how she fit it all in there, but hers has a picture right there, but I almost don't like a picture there. So I might just, I mean, this picture is, you know, just marshmallowing, but we have other ones where people are marshmallowing. So I might just take that out because I like this simpler look, giving yeah, this that's a little like more room. I like that little stripe. Isn't that interesting? Just a little bit of a stripe makes such a right under with your tiny border there. Mm -hmm. okay. I do love tiny borders. They're great. Well, they're fun. I saw, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, I want to feel like, I think Debbie did it first and we all fell in love with it. <laughs> I don't know if she did, but. I don't know but, either. We all, we actually always use stone hand in hand. Like we never, we designed them so that we could have something for card making, but it was always like, well, one, we always say like, don't put templates in a box. Like don't, you know, because yeah. you know, whether it's for card making or your scrapbooking projects or DIY projects or uh, school projects, my kids have used, you know, they're so versatile in usage and they're such a practical application that they can really be used in different ways. Oh, I'm excited to see what your fire looks like too. So again, yeah. can you showcase that again? So now that you have them cut out, can you show us like again? So you took the um, ghost. Yeah, I already did show it again, I thought, but. Um, oh, okay. So that's that. And then just some logs that I can fire or fire. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know if you can see it, but I went through and kind of just drew a little edge on the fire. So it looks like the, you know, an edge of, or on the log. Oh yeah. It's a little detail, like just a little swirl. So it's like the edge, I don't know. Like it's little, but, little texture know, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see like the, the ring, the, it's called a ring, I guess, the ring of the log. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. So that's still to be determined. It'll <laughs> be cute. I know sometimes when it starts getting this, I, I feel a little anxiety because it keeps shifting. So I have to lay down my background pieces so that I can, I don't know, is that weird? No, it's <laughs> anxiety. Or scrapbooking. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call anxiety, anxious, maybe a little, yeah, I guess it's the yeah. same in one, but um, sometimes it's nice to see your progress, you know what I mean? So you're looking at it saying, okay, I wanna see where, where I'm at now. And then you can, of course, um, continue to adjust and add. There's no problem with that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just inking very I think um, that always comes. Inking. Yeah. Usually we get that way any kind of way when we feel things are are getting out of organized, right? 
if something starts getting yes. disorganized, we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and so <laughs> it's natural to say, listen, I think I need my page to feel organized again. <laughs> yeah. So. I do. It's a really hard part. I mean, you're kind of in that same boat now too, where your scrapbook room is your office. Yeah. And I sometimes get really like, I feel like I can't work. Like I'll go, I'll go work out on my counter because I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you can't like actually clean up your scrap, because sometimes you're in a middle project and you just can't. Yeah. Yes. I know David used to be able to tolerate a mess and he told, he told me, he tells me all the time, you ruined me. <laughs> He's like, I used to be fine if things were messy around me. Now I can't even function half the time. So I'm just kind of like cleaning the house because he's like, I need to get some stuff done and I just can't have a messy house. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, because early on in our marriage, it was always me like, listen, we need to clean the house because I can't function without like... <laughs> feeling like a mess so well I relate I used I was that way too and then my husband is the, like the tidy one <laughs> the tidy one <laughs> yeah I think it's funny I'm like you mean I, I helped you. You. yeah I'm I helped you he's like no you ruined me and I'm like no I <laughs> helped you <laughs> I helped you can't ruin you anyways to find a circle punch here here i'll come back to mine so well i want to show this because i'm really curious okay. it's bothering me now because okay. i kind of did like i matched up the yellow so that they would be in the same spot but then i'm like my originally intent was to put this brown in between there but does that look does that look weird or maybe i just need to bring the yellow down so that it matches the bottom of that yeah right? would, that, would that work yeah that's usually okay. what i would do mm -hmm. okay. i would be that yeah, problem definitely. solved. Yeah. All right. Now you can go back to you. <laughs> I know, Leslie, I was just looking at her fire too, thinking now I need to go. Now I just am inspired to go find some pictures that I might have that I could just create a fire and some marshmallows. I'm excited to see what all your marshmallows i think you should put a little pop-up around those marshmallows oh that's a good idea yeah let them kind of have a little bit of dimension yeah well you guys just went camping didn't you not that long ago did you did you do marshmallows yeah, I haven't well i printed some of them but i haven't printed all of them so we have a we do a s'mores in our backyard well the kids if if we let them they would do s'mores like every other day of course because you do have a pretty spectacular fireplace though, fireplace. It's really nice. It's nice that it's finally cooling down because, you know, for two months here in Carolina, like, no, not even happening, but <laughs> we're excited to use it again. We've been out there a couple of times the last two weeks when it's not raining anyhow. So I'm doing a little pop-up. I always try to find, like, especially if you're doing a lot of layer dimensions, at least popping a couple of those layers always helps. So I'm going to yeah. pop this little centerpiece up. Do you guys have no, you know how long I've had this punch? Like forever. <laughs> I've had just this a regular right circle one? Yeah, it's just, a, it's a really small circle. I use it, you know, but I've had it for, I don't know, honestly, probably close to 15, 17 years. <laughs> yeah, that's the really old school one because yeah. the more recent ones have like the nicer handle that you uh -huh. use to find. Those yeah. ones are really old school. So Jody had a great question, not to get completely off track, but are there any plans to make this first kit back? What do you mean? Like first kit, like the, the Adventure Aloha ones, bring it back? Yeah. Well, I mean, so we use Jody as we have a few in the shop right oh, now. We do hopefully. I don't know if they sold or not yet, Jody. If yeah, um, they could have sold out by now. But if you haven't gotten it yet, make sure you jump over there and grab one because no, once they go in the vault, usually it's a couple of years before we bring them back out of the vault. Like we didn't bring this one out. It was almost two. It was two years, and then we kind of brought it back out of the vault just naturally because when we started Kiwi Club, many people were kind of not sure what to expect. And so those first couples, we thought, you know what, let's give everyone a chance to, to enjoy these as well. Um, 
Well, it just, it's been so, so long. Like when, it, when that late. Yeah, two years. Happened. And there's really no, like we don't have part of our process. Like, I mean, we won't unvault something for a couple years, but whether that's two or four, like it just is varies based on um, kind of the pulse and just, just making sure, but it always will be a couple years before unvaulting happens again. So make sure you grab them as we, we unvault them and um, do any kind of pre-sales on any unvault, unvaulting. We are still talking, just so you guys know, we might do a survey um, on many borders just to kind of really get a pulse on if we should unvault some of those. So I know lots of people have said them, but we're kind of trying to make sure because when we had many borders, <laughs> they uh, weren't our best sellers, but um, we have been trying to, well, we're gonna bring it up in the L L10 meeting, but we might do a survey, just get a real, real good sense of the, the interest. It's hard sometimes with comments and things to kind of see if that's the same 25 people commenting or if it's, you know what I mean? <laughs> or if it's more than that, just to make sure that we're kind of covering our grounds on that. Okay, yep. Yeah. So I love that you used a tiny border on your page and then I use breezy. So this is breezy right here that I'm using. So little, it's more like a fun tiny border. Hey, I use breezy too. <laughs> oh, you did? That's the border yeah. you used too? Oh, yeah. so breezy. And it's interesting because it's kind of got a tropical name too, a breezy. <laughs> yeah. Outdoor. It just seems to be the theme, you guys. So, yeah, I just love that little touch of colors sometimes. Just that little, little bit more character um, around those pictures. Especially that breezy. And then there's like a. Um, a more chevron one that's really thin like all those are really fun to just add a pop of color yeah um i'm gonna cut this out of green so this little swirl that's in par well this one's tiny seaside the other one's in paradise it's a little bigger um it's a little bit more integrate to cut so you definitely need to slow your cuts down, but it's not too complex here. I'll, of course, trace and cut it out so you can see it in real time here. But it is really cute. When it's done, it's just a little bit more intricate. Of course, always detach it from your big sheet or it will always feel overwhelming when you're cutting it. And always use a good pair of scissors. Otherwise, you'll be frustrated more than you need to be, more than you need to be. And, of, and and so what I do is I just kind of move the paper, right? And this type of design, I feel like is more, like that is more necessary to kind of uh, like guide your paper through your scissors. So kind of just take your cuts really slow and then kind of guide that paper through your cut. Now, again, you're gonna go off those inks or those cutting lines the pencil lines, but that's okay. I do it too. It all happens to all of us. And that is why we recommend the inking. Now, of course, instead of maybe taking the time to ink, you could take the time to erase those pencil lines, but, and then I kind of just slow down. Or, uh, or trace on the back. If it's- I know you don't do. <laughs> Well, I just, I know that it's very into, like I, I grew up with a sewing mom, right? So spring break, we would have sewing projects and it's actually more complex to train your brain to do that than I think like a, a, a design like this, it mirrors itself. So I don't think it, you don't, the chances of screwing it up, <laughs> you know what I mean? But some oh, of the designs, do it. <laughs> yeah, some of the designs, it takes a little bit more just really allowing your brain to function like, okay, if I flip this, then this is going to happen. That's right. So I need to flip the template, not the paper. Does that make sense? And so, oh, I do it sense. Sometimes. yeah, <laughs> sometimes it's hesitant to, because people are like, sorry, God, I cut it out backwards. And I'm like, cause you got to flip the template. Um, yeah. So Marsh, I've been taught to pencil on the back. It's difficult, especially if I didn't get it right. Exactly. Yeah. It would also work for an S for Susan. This is true. I guess I need to, to do a little 
Susan signature with the little swirl. I don't have paradise. What can I use? Do you have tiny seaside June? Or let's see if she doesn't have paradise and she wants kind of like a cluster here uh, for a flower. What would be your second option? I uh, springtime. June, do you have springtime? Because the flower in springtime. Let me think. Yep. Or even the old Christmas one has like it kind of has a look like it. Oh, it has a, a poinsettia in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that kind of looks like I might layer really cute with that. Yeah, probably more poinsettia if you want like the points to it instead of springtime is more rounded flower. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think what other one I would recommend. Or like, do you have the shine a la carte? Or the sparkle a la carte? Those, either one of those would kind of give you that point look too. Hopefully that's helpful, June. I can't wait to see what you're creating. Okay, I still have a couple more of my little designs. So how are you? Let's flip to you and see where you're at. I'm almost done. Yeah, yeah. Next time you're doing the spotlighting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I'm trying to, I'm getting like a little tiny little thing. So I'll put the, but I have a little stick. But um, I made my little fire there. So something it was really bothering me, like the way she had it was like two pictures right here, but I really wanted my little fire and my marshmallows to go above the fire. And so I ended up just adding another picture right here. And then I'm gonna have to reprint it because I can't cut this one down, but I'll just have to reprint it smaller so that can be right there. So like, just cause you're copying it, if it's like different pictures, you don't really have to worry about like doing it the exact same, just work with what you got. I always hate inking the edges of these tiny little strips because like my fingers are so inked. <laughs> my little, I have, yeah, little brown tips on mine, but it comes off, it's good. Yeah. It's, it's showing that you, you know, your art in work. Yeah like a painter has paint on it you get a little yeah um hey amy we need another giveaway your um, turn my <laughs> turn your, your um, turn what, what is, is okay go you yes. got it you got it no no you got it I was gonna say, what is the what is the uh, accessory that you had? The one that came with the kit that was oh, yeah. on pre-sale too. What is the name of the accessory set that she was mentioning? That was one of the pre-sale items, not the paper kit, which is Adventure Waves, but the accessory that she showed earlier with the mountain and the compass and the um, trailer, etc. That came in that that fun accessory set from a previous cutie club kit. Sharon, yep. Sharon McDonald, yes. And um, June's asking if Paradise is still available and it absolutely is. Yes, that's still in the shop and uh-huh, it's just part of the normal catalog um, items, correct. And um, super fun here, I'll kind of... So, so I'm I getting out... Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm cutting out my little pineapple. Guys, pineapples are so freaking adorable. I don't know. So I just, I just, there's something about them. But I want the top piece to be different. And I've done this before, but I just think it's really cute. So I want to point it out. So when you just want the top to be a different color, you just go to the edge of your paper and just cut out the portion that you want a different color to layer on your other piece, right? So I'm going to cut that out. And then I'm just gonna layer it on top of this one. It'll be super cute. And then I'm gonna staple the center. So here, let me get this finished cutting it out here. Oh, Sharon, by the way, email support at kiwilane.com and they will um, credit you for um, a $5 store credit. Amy, can you write those down by the way, Sharon? And who was the first one? Mm -hmm. 
trying to remember. <laughs> My brains have been a lot of different places since then. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so yes, share, uh, share and please email support. Your mail gets you. Oh, Beth, that's right. So do you know what her last name is? Sharon McDonald? No, Beth. Beth, because it was Beth Keely Vane. Hmm, Beth. What's your last name, Beth? Are you still with us? So you're going to staple. I would just add like one or two staples. Oh, I have no staples in my staple. Hold on. Let me see if I have. Oh, I do. Thankfully. Good. Like, hopefully I still have some staples. My staples are also something my kids come in and grab every once in a while. But I don't use them as much as my scissors, so I don't complain as much when they take my scissors. Thank so, you, Beth. <laughs> my kids steal my stapler too. They don't steal my scissors, but they do steal my stapler. Okay, these staples are going in weird. Maybe I let me just hammer it down. Hold on. Where's my hammer? We'll hammer it with my scissors. No, I don't like that. Okay. One more time. Third time's the charm. Okay, well, that was really hard with these nails to get that out. <laughs> so neither does not benefit to the nails. <laughs> What'd you say your kids don't steal your stapler or they do too? Oh, they steal my stapler. That's like, yeah. they don't steal my scissors, but that stapler is. Well, I kind of have a funny, funny thing because we were working on the, the chore chart thing. So basically what we did is we kind of made a little chore chart and they can also earn points. And especially with the younger, like Lacey and Eli, it's been working really great. So if they help each other, like if they help people out without being asked, they get Lumi points. If they read literally, David gives them the most points they can earn in this house is five points for one of the things. And you want to know what it is if they do? Reading if they read, read a book. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> read a book. So for every, five minutes, for every 30 minutes that they read a book, they get five Lumis. And like everything else is like one or two Lumis. But if you read a book for 30 minutes, you get five oh. Lumis. <laughs> Anyways, but you also lose Lumis. So like if if like I'm trying to think what the negative ones were like if you fight or um and you know or I don't even know I can't remember off the top of my head but one of them is if you take mom's scissors you lose 10 loomies <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> now granted, we've only been doing this for one week, so we'll see how, but you know, you'll notice that I went to go craft today and I didn't have to go find my sisters. They were right where they belong. So right. <laughs> anyways. Okay, so yes, yeah, so and then I just kind of bring up the sides. Isn't that kind of cute? Super fun. Yeah. I love this little. And of course, the um there's a larger um pineapple. In the tropical set too so it's so cute i love the way leslie i co totally copied her um she used those what that one the, the fringe scissors with her pineapple was so stinking cute oh yeah 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 okay i have an idea that i'm going to be sharing with the french scissors but i'm not going to give it away i'm going to do it for another live craft in Aww. I did. I think everybody should get fringes for sure. It's only six bucks. Why not? Six bucks for little fringe scissors. So cute. If nobody knows what we're talking about, these are what they are. You know, the little fringe scissors that make you cut it and it just kind of adds a little fringe, which I will add would be really cute. You know how earlier we were talking that you could take like a border now that I'm thinking about it and you could add just like another trim, right? Well, this is the wrong one. Oh, but. Yeah, that'd be really cute. And then like, what if you like fringed, not the template guys, but the piece and you had that kind of doing the same kind of um, effect that's happening with the funky frills. That could be really cute. It'd give it a lot of texture, a lot of texture. Okay guys, I'm down to just some, two more cuts here on this. Um, 
Do you want me to show something that I think is kind of cute? Uh, yeah. I like the way it's working. <laughs> okay, so I um, I have my little marshmallows. And so I just use my X-Acto knife and stab in there and try not to hurt myself. If you kind of make a pre-cut first, it, it does it better. And then if you stab through and then you get this little hole, it worked a lot better when I wasn't trying to show you how to do it, but I think it kind of bent my exact knife. Um, anyway, just kind of get a little slice in there. And then, um, and then I have my little stick and just thread it through so that they're a little connected. Cute. And then it's roasting, a little roasting stick. Oh yeah, those are cute right there. Mm -hmm. I almost picked up my French scissors to cut out my designer template. That would have been interesting. <laughs> that could be great. <laughs> I'm like, wait, hold on, mom scissors. I better put those back because I'll keep reaching for them. <laughs> That's really cute. I love that. Super fun. Anybody else? Do you guys like s'mores? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am. Uh, I like, I can eat like one. My kids, of course, it, it's fun just to sit around the fire. I think it's more the ambiance of it, but, yeah. um, but I actually w like it with the soft, chewy, um, Oreos or not Oreos, um, chips of hoys. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So instead of like a graham cracker, you use the soft, um, chips of hoys. And um, I mean, you can use the hard ones too, but I like the soft ones. And then you put your marshmallow between those too. I just, I just don't like marshmallows at all. Oh, you don't like marshmallow? Well, that kind of ruins the whole thing for sure. I'll eat the graham crackers, but. <laughs> You'll just roast the graham cracker. No, I don't know how you could do that, but. I was actually um, like, I like to burn the marshmallows. Like that was the part that I liked. <laughs> the marshmallows are super cute. Super fun. And I think that's what's fun about it is that even, again, if you're not a big camper, it's something that maybe if you have a little fire in your backyard, you can do. Oh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Yes, Cynthia, I've had that too. Again, every time oh. I have a s'more, I can only have like one. And then I'm like, oh, s'mored out, which I'm not that way with a lot of other sugary stuff. <laughs> but with s'mores for some reason, but. They're super good. I agree. Peanut butter cups too. Oh, Carmela Bar. I have not tried that one. Carmela Bar. I need to expand my s'more making ability. You do. <laughs> I've done. I've done the peanut butter cups and the other one. But I mean, talk about a Carmelo. It's already messy. I guess why not, right? Yeah. Where is it? Um, my friends do s'mores with thing and peanut butter candy. So good. Oh yes. I like the little bit of peanut too. Somebody was asking, when are we gonna do? a hint for the Kiwi Club for October. Uh, we don't do hints every time. I feel like I've spoiled you guys now. <laughs> do it, do it. Do, yeah, yeah, you, Mindy, yeah, Amy, yeah. <laughs> I was, I, Amy, Mindy's gonna be mad at you. <laughs> She's gonna tell you <laughs> peer pressure. Um, uh, Jody says I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> yeah, so. Hmm. Um, Charisse, I just cut like a one inch strip and then I just cut like rounded the corners for the marshmallows. I'm done, Susan. I have one little thing I gotta cut out and then I'm gonna go find some enamel dots to put on top of my little seashell here. So maybe it's not the hint police, but she is the, she's over products. So I think she's very protective of it. <laughs> well, it's not even that. She loves a good surprise. She's yes. like always been that way. She is the one that would say, oh, but it's such so fun when it's just like a really good surprise. Now, granted, a hint is still not close enough. So I'm happy to give hints. I, I'll think of a good one here. Because can you guys imagine, I can't even believe it sometimes when people bring that up. I'm always like, no, we're not the end of the month. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we're the end of the month. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, where did the month go? Insane. 
I've been feeling that way for the last four months though. So I don't know. Yes, yeah, this little seashell, I think it'll be really cute with like little something just to kind of add a little bit more to it to kind of make it stand out. Super cute on that. So we actually stopped on this cruise. We went to um, Coco Cay. It's like this private island. Um, it was really fun. I would love to take the kids back to on that kind of route. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they would really fun. It was a really nice little island escape. And it was owned by Royal Caribbean. So it was nice. It was kind of like you can enjoy the beach. Has anyone been to Coco Cay? It was really fun. Coco Cay. But um, I'm going to have to turn that a little. So I'm not going to do here. Time. Let me find an ammo really fast on that. Okay, so you guys want me to do a, a little hint. Now, granted, I feel like I give a little hint and then people are like, more. And I'm like, no, we agreed. <laughs> One little hint. <laughs> so either you take it. Although I'm pretty, I can be pretty, it's, it depends on the month. I can be very specific or sometimes I can be so broad that they're like, really, but it's better than nothing, right? So let me think on this. I, see. I, I have no idea. I have not seen any of it. Sometimes I'll, I happen to get a glance of stuff, but usually I, I'm just as surprised as everybody else. Hmm. Yes, and I forgot you told me to do, um, I forgot you told me to do these pop-ups, so I'm oh, putting yeah. a lot of pop-ups on my marshmallows. Although, these are not my favorite type of pop-ups, but they work. I've been going through so much pop-up lately. I've noticed that I've like, I've had um, kind of, you know, I was about to say a food storage, but a, a adhesive storage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and he said storage and I've noticed that I really dried out my storage these days I'm like oh I guess I need to because there's nothing worse than you write out <laughs> yeah I always kind of keep a storage storage a storage of adhesive on hand because there's nothing when you go and you're like oh my gosh I, I, I ran out that's only happened a couple times but when it has I'm like that's not possible that's like mm -hmm. Possible. Sometimes you can blast through, especially these red ones. I love them, this red one you said, but man, sometimes you can go through them so fast. Yeah, I like that one. Um, but I current, like I said, I'm going through all my storage, so I'm just kind of using up all that I have. So I'm using these, this glue, this, I like this one too. That's one I like too. Um, and then I guess, like, of course I have this, the, the scotch tape glider. I don't uh -huh. use that one as much just because the, I don't like, the feeling's not, or filling the, the tape roll is not as friendly for me. I don't know, it's fine, but um, I'm trying to decide if this is for me, but um, it's just really strong. So if you put something down, it's permanent, right? And so, mm. so, but that's also what makes it so great on the Scotch food glider is because it doesn't fall apart, you know? So, but those are all adhesives. I once in a time used to buy very inexpensive adhesive. Like when I first started scrapbooking 20 years ago, you know, I would- Did your, like, oh, did your buy stuff fall apart though? Yeah, exactly. So I always recommend do not, um, don't buy just the cheap stuff because you, it won't last the ages. I don't think so. So sometimes you can find cheap ones, I guess that are, but yeah. So I learned my lesson there. That's why I kind of like that 3L one. Um, I've test, I've used it for many years now and have had no issues with it. So kind of tried and true, you know? Yeah. Okay. Mine is done. Yours is done. Cute. You should put pop up. You probably already put it down too. Another great place where your pop up would have been on the little travel icon. Right there. I do have it on there. Oh, you do? Cute. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like these ones aren't very, it's not that thick, but it is popped up. <laughs> yeah, it still gives it dimension. That's cute. Yeah, yours is very cute too. Um, we'll buy soon, we will post all, we will post both of these. I mean, it usually takes us a day or two, but what's really cool and I'm in love with this feature is all of these videos, it takes a little bit but they'll be posted over on the blog. So you can rewatch the video and you can see the finished layouts. So super fun. Yeah, our team will will take it within a couple of days, business days and transfer it over so that then at any point, if you're like work, cause Facebook's not the best at like, it's not super easy to search things on here. So yeah, we'll make sure to move it over so that it lives and breathes for a long time somewhere else. So. All right. Well, let me let me go back and forth here. Spell it. Yeah. Mine. So again, I've used this kind of layout here as my springboard. I I adjusted mine a little bit, not too much personally. Um, you know, I did four by sixes here instead of four by fours, and then I did you know a three by four and a four by four, and I did another extra photo up here at the top collage there. So I adjusted mine a little bit, you know, but for the most yeah. part, I used that and it was a good springboard. So let me see yours now, here we go. So this is the layout that I chose to kind of springboard off of in this sense. So, I mean, I really, I switched up the border so that gives it a whole different look. And then, I mean, I really, I had to move this picture because I wanted the fire pit in there. Um, but then, and I added a picture down here just because I felt like there was just plenty of room. I moved it from here to here um, and just kind of, you know, switched what was there. But it is pretty, I mean, it's pretty darn similar and just kind of switch up a few things. Yep, and that's how inspiration works. Oh, sorry, I might've missed it. You gotta put that picture off still. Yeah, I um, because it's a three and a half. I I did this as a three by four, and so I cut off one of my girls. Oh, so you just gonna shrink it down? So there, there will be a picture. I just have to make it smaller. <laughs> That's cute. Um. All right. So you guys are welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Yes. Okay. So I'm trying to think for October. I have to get my mind back there sometimes because I'm like, what is October? <laughs> so October is i'll give you one little hint okay uh trees trees is the hint for october's mm -hmm. beauty clip all right and then one more giveaway let's do one more usually we do about two or three of the giveaways so let's do another five dollar store credit so okay. i have a question um let's think here so uh, what is hmm. okay this is pretty dang easy what is the island the name of the island that we went to easy. <laughs> it is actually I'm and i'll tell you why it. here in a minute why it's easy but it, yeah first person that comments is our last winner for the night Coco Bay, yeah. Heather Hollis. It's Coco K, actually. Who did Coco K? Can you see? Um. Oh, it's oh Coco K. Like it's Coco K. It's right here in this picture. That's why I was like, it's kind of easy, but I didn't want to bring attention to it. <laughs> oh. So I was like, I'm not gonna say anything. What um, picture? Right here, it says it backwards though, but yeah, they have a little Coco K there. Oh, it's anyway. Lisa, Lisa Wiseman. <laughs> All right, Lisa, you are our last lucky winner for this fine Saturday night crop night. Guys, keep playing, creating, and connecting. And of course, please make sure to share it with us. We would love to see it. So um, whether that's in our community at kiwiling.com or our group here in Facebook as well, or both. Um, so make sure you use hashtag create with Kiwi Lane that will also enter you into a giveaway for a $25 gift.
gift certificate. We give those away um, by months. And make sure to tune in and next week. We'll have even more fun events and episodes for our craft in um, at home craft in live events. Um, so make sure to check those out. If you missed any of them, you can, like Amy was just mentioning, you can catch the replays. Um, and most of them are over on our blog. So hopefully you'll find them there. You can go to the it blog. It takes a couple of days to get them over there. Yeah. Otherwise, of course, here on the Kiwi Lane Designs Facebook page, you can even scroll down or even over on our YouTube channel. You can also find the replays there. So, all right, guys, have fun. Thanks again for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful evening and we'll post some pictures soon. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye, ladies. Amy, you, you're ending it. Yep. <laughs>